Oh, Julia, how wonderful to have the opportunity to talk to you. I'm, I'm speaking to you from Toronto, where we have a huge Jewish community. <laughs> yes, I've been to your Jewish community. It's beautiful. Yes, we have. I, I live right in the middle of it all. So thank <laughs> you for this. And I have to ask you, knowing where you came from, knowing a lot about um, your previous life, I got to commend you because you are such an inspiration. And once people see this, they're going to really take from it. But what was the bell that went off in your head and said, I've got to make a change in my life? Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. It's a bit of a complex question. Yes. Uh, I wrote a book called Brazen, uh, which is on for pre-sale on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And just to give you an idea of how complicated that backstory is, it's 1700, it was, I handed in a 1740 page manuscript. Yeah. Luckily I have amazing editors at Crown Penguin Random House and they have brought it down to a nice manageable 450 odd pages or so. But the point is that it was an eight year process. Yeah. And I divide that into, the first part was when I gave myself permission to say something's not right. And that was honestly the most difficult thing. The second part was trying to educate myself because I literally knew nothing about the outside world. So I became this voracious reader. I literally read everything I could get my hands on from Voltaire to Descartes to Locke and Spinoza, you name it, I've read them. And, um, and then the last part was actually physically leaving. And that part I never would have been able to do if it hadn't been for my daughter, Mir, because She's the most like me in the sense that she just didn't fit in. And they, I watched them trying to mold her and turn her and twist her and make her into this obedient, quiet, meek woman. And, it, and I just, I couldn't let them do it. I just couldn't do it. And so I picked up my stuff and walked out the door. And what you've accomplished is just phenomenal. It, Thank you. I mean, that's a whole story in itself. But I wondered what your family thought when you sat down to talk to them and say, I'm going to have this Netflix series because you, you know, you do go back to Muncie. Your ex-husband is also agreeably on camera, which is, you know, shocked me to be honest. Amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So yeah. What was it like? And, and did they give you your blessing at first or were they a little bit resistant? So my kids, of course, were all in from the first second that I mentioned it. Um, our own, I was actually surprised because I thought he would not want to do it. But he was like, sure, I'll try, because I think he felt like he needs to defend, you know, because he didn't realize that this isn't anything to do with Judaism. This has nothing to do with my community. Yeah. I learned many beautiful things from my community, charity, loving kindness, taking care of one another. There's beautiful things that I learned in my world, gratitude, appreciation. This is about fundamentalism and that fundamentalism that exists in our world exists in so many cultures in yeah. so many countries. So it isn't specific to us, but so he started, he did one episode and I think he just had such a good time that he was like, I'm in. And then my ex-husband, you know, he has left fundamentalism too. Yes. Like he is a fully religious Jew, which I, which is great. You want to keep Shabbos, kosher, holidays, amazing. I have nothing against religion. I believe in God, it's beautiful. Yeah. You want to tell me that I have to cover myself so a guy shouldn't have a bad thought? Sorry, his problem, not mine. My world does not have to be this big. So a man should not have to control himself. That's what I have an issue with. And so now my husband has left that. He is no longer fundamentals. He's wearing jeans. He was on a TV show. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. And it was really amazing because the other day he actually came over to me and said, Julia, thank you. I'm so much happier now. And I just felt so good because him, I kind of had to push kicking and screaming. And now he's happier because he gets to be not a fundamentalist person. And the world is beautiful, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone's going to enjoy going on this journey with you and your family. Thank I can't you. wait to see what more antics you have. <laughs> and I want to come visit you and see that closet, my friend. Come oh, visit me, Bonnie. You have an open invitation and you can ask Jackie. I never say things I don't mean. So seriously, if you're in New York, please let me know. Happy to get together. Julia, I got lots more I would love to ask you, but lots of people waiting. What a what a pleasure. Muzzle talk to you and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn. You're so